Hi Pisces, it is Wednesday today, September 20th, 2023, and I am at my daughter's house, um, so you may see some kitties, or hear some kitties. Um, I got all of these beautiful stones from one of one of the subscribers here and she said that um these were from all of you so thank you so much you guys um she she's a very very beautiful person and there's so many more stones but um I want to go through them and read read about each one. See, here's Tiger's Eye. I mean, it's just beautiful. And then this Pisces Zodiac Birthstone. Beautiful. All right, you guys, I feel special. And then I got this card in the mail. from um, Buffalo, New York, which is absolutely so, so beautiful. Um, it's got the piggy on there. I don't know who's meowing. Oh, it's someone that wants to come in the bedroom. So there's nothing wrong with her. She just wants to come in the bedroom. you can hear me talking all right you guys let's look at your tarot cards and see what messages come through for you today spirits what does Pisces need to know what's happening with Pisces okay one more shuffle Pisces, what does Pisces need to know? All right, you guys, let's see what shows up in your tarot cards today. Ooh, the first card you have is the death card. Something here is coming to an end. It's like you're riding right into the new world here. That is Scorpio energy. And then you got the Nine of Swords. You're kind of worried about what's to come. Because something here is ending. You have the King of Cups. This is a good move, Pisces. Whatever move you're planning on making, it's going to relieve you from a lot of burdens. This is a 10. It's also under the Death card, which is definitely something ending here. I feel like there was something here that you felt like it was going to last longer than what it has. The center of your reading is you have the Ace of Cups, and then you have the Fool, Aries Energy, the Seven of Pentacles. I'm sure you guys can see all the cards. And then you have the Chariot, Cancer Energy, and you have the Three of Wands, the Magician, Judgment in Reverse. There's some type of conflict that you're having with another person here Pisces um, there could be arguments but it feels like petty games I I feel like the person that you're dealing with here because you have the two of cups they've been playing a lot of petty games and I'm feeling like I'm feeling like you've been very patient with this person, Pisces. And I'm almost thinking this is like the same type of energy that was showing up similar last night. Let's see. It's about you and someone else. And there's an argument, a fight. There's other people involved here. You can see the other people. 
just in case you don't know, um, this person has other people they're involved with. Tell me why death is here. Who's walking away? I feel like you're walking away, Pisces. You really don't want to walk away. Hi, Winter. Because there's still a lot of love here. But I'm the person I'm looking at here, they're showing up as somebody that I feel like this person has a lot of confidence. And I feel like at, just as you walk away here with the Eight of Cups, I'm feeling like this person feels like, oh, I can message Pisces later and they'll take me back. They'll forgive me. So right now, I just want to be out being recognized and do what I do. Just let Pisces, you know, be their emotional type of wishy wash yourself that's the way this person sees you and they feel like they can just come back and fix everything that they put you through they feel like they can come back and fix it whenever they feel like it tell me why the nine of swords is here because you're up in your head here yeah i mean you've prolonged this Pisces you've been very patient with someone you've been in a self-sacrificing energy and you've been giving all right the Empress is here this is Taurus energy but this is the type of energy that you are in it's like this is the energy of a mother and I feel like you have been giving to this person male or female whatever you are you've been giving to this person and it makes you happy to give but someone here i i feel like they don't really show a lot of appreciation here and they leave you hanging like this and then you have the king of cups why is the king of cups here Why is the King of Cups here? You have the Four of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. This person could have the Ten of Pentacles with you. And they know it. But they're, they're missing an opportunity here with you, Pisces. Because you have so much stability around you with the Ten of Pentacles and the Empress energy. And this person them not showing their emotions them being distant i'm feeling like you actually carry a lot of burdens around for whoever this is but they feel like they can just come back to pisces whenever they feel like it so be aware of that the king of pentacles is here Pisces, your stability, your money, your foundation means a lot to you. And I'm seeing something here in your energy coming to an end. But look at this pentacle um, here. This is something new. This is an ace. Something's going to happen in your energy that I feel like you're not expecting here. Because you're ending something with this. And I'm seeing something else um coming to your attention see you've been walking around like this where your head is buried behind these wands and you were persistent on finishing carrying something i kind of feel like there may be unfinished business here too between the two of you so there is an ending to the way things used to be here but you're dropping off wand by wand at a time here and putting them back into this person but i feel like they're the ten of wands is usually and especially with judgment in reverse is usually you having to finish something like loose ends to tie up here
you have the nine of pentacles and the knight of wands showing up so this person's going to return to you but the thing i don't like is this is someone that could come in and out of your life and the way they're looking at you they look at you like you have it all pisces and they're looking at you as the nine of pentacles so they're seeing all of this money in this garden or if it's not money it's something stable with these pentacles the ace of cups what a surprise right I feel like I feel like what I'm telling you it's already been played before except for this time I'm seeing you ending it why is the ace of cups here yeah this time you're really ending it Pisces I'm seeing you closed off here with the two of swords your mind is made up you you've decided to be closed off to someone here that maybe likes to party a lot they have a lot of other people in their energy and um i'm seeing something new something new being handed to you here with the ace of cups and then you have like a blessing here because this is something that you're working on that's going to be very successful, Pisces. The Eight of Pentacles in the world. There's something here that you're giving to, and this is good news. I'm seeing you receiving good news. It's all really good right here in the center of your reading. And it's taking a break from someone who's unpredictable so that you can be, you know, relaxed and not wondering when someone's just going to come showing up whenever they feel like it because this is someone i feel like they don't keep their word and it's going to feel so good with the fool energy why is the fool here you have the three of cups and the two of wands and strength because this person, this might be a Leo that you're dealing with, but you're letting this go, all right? I can see it over and over again in your energy. And I'm seeing this person is someone who chooses to struggle through life. It's like they're, they're very held back here with strength and the two of wands and not really moving forward in their life because like i said this is someone that has other people in their energy that they're focusing on they're not really focusing on themselves like you are as the magician and then you have the seven of pentacles here when i'm looking into the future why is the seven of pentacles here five pentacles i feel like you're going to take a loss <clears throat> but sometimes we need to cut our losses and <clears throat> and walk away from the from the devil from the darkness of the moon you're cutting people off here with the queen of swords you're cutting off the lies of the devil this is capricorn energy the devil and Pisces Cancer energy here with the moon. And I just feel like you're taking a loss here with this person um, of what you've invested with them. I feel like you, someone here has invested money here. There's a lot of pentacles showing up. It's like Okay, I'm just cutting my losses before I lose any more than I already have. And you're getting in this vehicle and you're going. Turning your back on the past, on this energy, and looking into the future. Why is the chariot here?
I don't see you with this energy right here. This is the type of energy that you've dealt with before in your life, Pisces, and I don't see you dwelling on it this time. I see you charging forward ahead with a lot of confidence. Yeah, you have the lovers, Gemini energy. You've got someone here that um, had a third party situation. For someone specific here, there's something about a vehicle and someone being put in jail or something with the law. You could be dealing with the Libra, but I'm seeing that this is your choice, Pisces. I feel like you already know what's been going on here and it's your choice to just take this blindfold off this is a self-imposed imprisonment of the mind to just cut it off and face the truth and that's what i see you doing here the three of wands you, it's like this judgment call has been delayed long enough this this is the straw that breaks the camel's back right here. Tell me why the Three of Wands is here. The Seven of Cups. The High Priestess. And the Wheel of Fortune. Higher level of commitment. The Hierophant is here. The Hierophant and the Tower. There's a commitment that you have with someone, Pisces, that is coming to an end. And I feel like something here is going to shock you. This person's going to try to try really hard to come back in again. That's what you need to be aware of. All right. But they're showing up as the Seven of Swords. They're they're going to show up here like this and act like they're in control and they know what they're saying <coughs> gaslighting with the ten of cups communication <coughs> i'm seeing you turning your back on them you might be dealing with an aries or a taurus But um, the confusion is over here, Pisces. You have many options. You have many choices. And I'm seeing you taking your power back and sitting in this energy of the High Priestess. This is Pisces energy. And moving forward in your life here, getting off of a karmic wheel that I feel like has been showing up in you guys' energy lately, this karmic wheel. But right now, I'm seeing this changing. I'm seeing you coming off of it. There's something here that's going to happen. Some Someone manipulating you for the last time. Why is the magician here? the knight of pentacles this person i feel like they've slowed you down pisces you have the three of cups here they brought other people into your energy they brought other people to you caused all of these waves in your and your energy and your emotions Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is here. But you could be dealing with any sign. Why, why is judgment in reverse? Why has this been delayed like this? You've been holding on to this connection, Pisces. You've given this person um, too many chances. Why is judgment in reverse?
the tower, the high priestess, and the ace of wands. I feel like this has been delayed, Pisces, because I feel like you've been struggling with something in your life and you've been wondering, okay, if I were to let go, then um, something, something might become difficult. And so you've been closed off here, protecting your heart with the Two of Swords. You have your arms crossed over your heart, and so you're protecting and guarding your heart and blindfolding yourself, not making a decision. But Pisces, you're done. The tower is here. The, the moment of truth is here. I feel like you have some type of new idea here that you're keeping to yourself with the High Priestess and the Ace of Wands. It's like you have your focus on something else now, Pisces, something that you want more. It's like you're reading off, like, um, in your mind or writing something down that just doesn't add up for you and so you're trying to eliminate it there's something new here that you want and so um this judgment is not going to be in reverse anymore and you can see you move on into the future spirits what does pisces need to know You have a win-win outcome as forecast, full moon in Libra. And you're very close to achieving your goal, Gibbous Moon. On the bottom of the deck, the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. This cycle, this chapter, um, this karmic wheel has been spinning for quite a while, Pisces. And it's coming to an end. Um, let's get your angel answer card. So choose number one, number, number one, number two, or number three. And remember, choose more than one if you're <coughs> feeling called to do that. If you chose number one, <coughs> helpful people. There's people around you that love and care about you, P Pisces. And you're not alone. There's going to be people here that help you through this. If you chose number two, the answer is yes, with an explanation point. And if you chose number three, perfect timing. All right, Pisces. So these are the messages that came through in your tarot cards today. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. And, um... Thank you for leaving me your beautiful comments and liking and subscribing and sharing. And um, I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow, Pisces. Namaste.